So welcome back to the channel. Another race uh, in the calendar today. I'm down in Battersea Park in London for an evening race, doing a 5K. It's my last sort of um, shorter distance race or a goal race before I start training for Berlin Marathon, which is in 67 days. I know that because I've got it in my calendar. Just arrived now. Here's the start line behind me. Um, I've got about 45 minutes till the race starts, so not quite as much time as I usually would have, but um, yeah, the transport across London was pretty slow today. So this is an event put on by Run Through. It's in the top flight um, series. They're trying to encourage more top level racing here in the UK. So you don't actually pay to enter it if you have a time below 16 minutes. And I think for the women, uh, it's around 18 and a half, 19 minutes. So it's a free race for more like high level club runners. A few elites come along. Um, but it's a yeah a good event if you want to run a fast time. So it's a two-lap course here in Battersea Park, and yeah, it should be fast. There'll be plenty of people to uh, to follow. Just going to grab my number, get stuck into the warm-up, and then I'll talk you through uh, some of the kit and sort of goals going into today's 5K race here in the Top Flight series in Battersea Park. quick change in the portaloos very glamorous um, picked up my number number 37 six is my lucky number so it was almost a lucky number tonight um, but I'm just about to go and do my warm-up only got half an hour till the start I like to start my warm-up about an hour before usually so I'm a little bit rushed uh, but not gonna panic um, because tonight I am wearing um, the Evos the Evo pros from Adidas the ridiculous 450 pound running shoe um, I've had them in the box for about a month now and save them for a special occasion so hopefully tonight um, we run something quick and we can justify um, whacking the Oakleys on and uh, going for a full send around Battersea but we'll see how we get on. So I'm just out for my warm-up um, I've actually got the uh, Evos on right now it's the first time I've ran in them um, basically I usually swap my shoes for the warm-up and race but we're running a little bit behind so I've had to just chuck them on now and um, do a few kilometers of warm-up a few strides and then yeah we'll get going because I've got about 20 minutes now until the start of the race but I'm feeling good training's been going well recently I say well the last eight weeks I've uh, been really really consistent and um, so I know I'm in good shape and hopefully tonight I'll get to to showcase that a little bit around sort of 15.01 for the 5k about eight weeks ago and since then I've done some really good training so we'll see how that translates into performance tonight. Hello mate. Hello mate, how you doing? Hello. Good to see you. So there we go, two-ish K for the warm-up. A little bit rushed but I managed to get a few strides in there and I did a shakeout run this morning so I'm not too worried about the lack of intensity in the warm-up um, I'm looking forward to it I'm just gonna do a few drills to make sure I'm loose after the travel and then it'll be uh, getting stuck into some fast races <laughs> And we're off. So this was a 5k race in Battersea Park, London, put on by the guys at Run Through. Again, I just want to say a big thank you to them for putting this on. Everybody in this race had free entry and it really is promoting that sort of top level athletics here in the UK. So yeah, thanks again for putting this race on. Going into the race, I thought based on my training, I had a good chance of attacking that personal best uh, that I ran last year of 14.42. I've sort of been building back my training, coming back from a stress fracture way back in November, but it's the first time I've really had some consistency in my training and I've started to feel really good in some of my sessions. So going into this race, I thought, why not give it a go and try and go for that 14.42. I knew I had to get on it from the very start, but I was also aware that there were some very fast boys in this race um, that have broken 14 minutes of 5K. So I had to be cautious of not going off too quick, but at the same time, try and find a pack 
to sort of settle in with. So I think I went through the first kilometer in around 3.02, which is a little bit on the cautious side, uh, and then followed by a 2.54 second kilometer. So yeah, didn't get carried away in that first kilometer, found a pack, and now I'm sort of dialed in with these guys attacking that third kilometer. Big shout out again to Liam, who managed to film this race on the bike. He did a great job in Battersea Park because it was quite busy on the evening. So he had to do a bit of dodging, but he got some great footage, as you can see. So we're about two and a half kilometers into the race at this point, and I found a pack of guys. I think there was four in my little sort of subgroup. There's some guys going up the road. There was a sort of second pack that was a little bit in front of us, and we sort of formed the third pack. Through the camera shot went the front group, and now that is my group of three guys at the moment. So going on to, this is the second lap, coming through the finish line in just a minute for the first time, and it was a two lap course, as I said, so we went through that twice. At this point in the race, I was feeling pretty good, having gone off nice and conservatively. Uh, that second kilometer was a little bit fast, but that was due to it being slightly downhill. Um, so I was keen just to, again, switch off a little bit and try and dig deep going into this second lap. Here we are catching up a few guys that maybe went off a little bit fast at the beginning and were paying for their early efforts. So at this point, our group of three sort of became five as we approach the finish line. Now we've come through on to the second lap. This is around the three and a half, four K point in the race where, to be honest with you, my legs had given up on me. Um, in terms of that fresh poppy feeling, that had long gone, um, which I was feeling in my warm-up. And yeah, basically, I didn't taper into this race. Not an excuse. Sometimes you can get away with it, with your training, that if you just dial down the intensity in the few days before a race, you can actually feel really good. And that's what I did for this one. It was a, a goal race. I was trying to run fast, but at the same time, I've got half an eye on uh, Berlin Marathon now, which is in nine weeks' time. So I was conscious of keeping the training volume fairly high, but in hindsight, it did mean that my legs weren't quite as fresh as they perhaps need to be for an all-out 5K. So, yeah, I was struggling at this point, about four kilometres in. A telltale sign for me when I'm struggling is my arm carriage starts to get a little bit less fluid. As you can see, that hand with my watch on it is now going more side to side than a more up and down forward motion. So I can tell I'm starting to fatigue and I also keep looking at my watch, which is a sign I'm dying to see that finish line. And at about four kilometers is when a few of the guys in my pack started to pull away from me. This Belgrave Harrier, I believe, finished in around 14, 45 so finished very strong but in the last kilometer for me unfortunately the legs weren't there and I wasn't able to to kick it in like I usually would for that final kilometer of a 5k so a few of the guys have now gone up the road and it's just me and this lad from I think uh, St Edmunds Paces um, which is a Suffolk based club I may have got that wrong here he goes past me as well a strong push on there for the finish and now well, this is the finish line the last kilometer few of the front guys there coming through I think they ran around 14.05 and here I come in 13th place across the finish line Meg was ecstatic there and I just broke 15 minutes I think my official time was 14.58 so about 12 seconds off my personal best but given the effort which I'll talk through in just a minute I was pretty pleased with that result Ah, uh, just under 15 minutes, 14, 59, that was hard, well done man. To be in your bow place again. <laughs> yeah, just about. Well done, man. Oh, man, good job. Good battle, yeah. Yeah, high five. Room for a little one? Huh? Uh, 59, rubbish. Yeah. Oh, at least it's up 50. Yeah, at least. How'd you go? Oh, I won. You won? Yeah. Sick, nice one. Oh man, I've had three terrible races this year. I've well, run 14.33, for me, 14.33, 14.38, all like 30 to 40 seconds of my best. Wow. And I was like 14.03 maybe? Brilliant. It's 14.07. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Big money. Oh, what? How was that? Good. Yeah. Right. Cheers, man. Under 15? Just under, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yay. You okay? Yeah, well done. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.
<laughs> That's on the Koros. Short course apparently, 4.93 kilometers. Um, I'm, I got 14.59 and I stopped it just after the line, so I'm hoping for maybe 57. Um, 302 average pace. Um, let's have a look at my max heart rate 188 and average 180 so that tells me that I gave it a pretty good effort probably didn't have much more in the tank tonight let's go down to laps oh I had laps off so I don't I can't tell you the lap splits but I think it was fairly even um, and just snuck under 15 minutes so I can't be too disappointed but I think simply I would have liked to go on a little bit quicker a bit closer to my PB of 1442 uh, but we'll take it So I'm just out for my cool down. Forget how hard 5k running is. It's really tough. Pleased to sneak under 15 tonight. I think if I hadn't, I would have been a bit disappointed with the performance. But um, yeah, overall, I think I pushed pretty hard. Average 180 heart rate. So I know when, when things are looking that high in the stats, then I gave it a pretty good effort. I think we started fairly conservatively tonight. Um, I actually had lap splits off on my watch, so I'm not too sure what we went through the first K, but it certainly felt comfortable. And then I was hoping to sort of push on. No worries, man. I take a quick photo with, I'm so sorry. No. Yeah, no worries. Oh, my soul. How, How you doing, man? You're in the vlog. <laughs> Tendo, um, you're incredible, man. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yeah. appreciate it. Have a good one. I'll leave you. I'm, I'm in I know, there. it's all good. How you doing? Good. You did an 1829. Oh, really good? Big project and, yeah. Yeah, you're inspiring. Oh, thank get you, on. man. How did you get on today? Uh, not quite a PB, but just under 15, so. Yeah. Sorry, right, training for the next No worries. Good, good to see you, man. Do you want to get a quick picture? Please. Yeah, yeah, let's do please, it. Please, please. You're a legend. You're an absolute legend. So I don't want to take too much of your time. No, no problem. Thanks for stopping. Have a great one. This is Serendipity seeing man. you. Have a great one, my guy. All the, good, all the best, bro. You too, you too. Cheers, man. Oh, what a nice guy. That's exactly why I, I do it. Share my journey here on YouTube. Um, get people into the sport. He just ran 18. Uh, 30 tonight. Sounds like a big PB, so yeah, good for him. But yeah, as I was saying, started off fairly conservatively and then was hoping to sort of push on in that second lap but to be honest with you just didn't have the legs felt in control like breathing wise um, but when it came to sort of the 3k mark i really wanted to to push on and i didn't have a lot left um, to give at that point but that's just how racing goes sometimes can't be disappointed i think i was about three seconds quicker than what i ran eight weeks ago on the road which yeah when you put it like that it's a bit average um but i enjoyed myself that was the main thing so yeah another good race tonight pretty happy with that would like to go on a little bit quicker but we're talking fine margins maybe 10 seconds quicker um but with lap pace off i just ran it to feel and that is all i had on the night and that's all i can ask um from my my body i'm looking forward to now training for the for the longer stuff moving towards the marathon and officially starting uh, the training program with my new coach so yeah a lot of things to to look forward to good performance nothing special but um yeah another one in the bank here in in Batsy Park I definitely recommend coming along to one of those um, top flight races if you're sort of a sub 16 runner because you can get pulled along some really quick times but yeah until the next one inspire to run one to inspire I'll see you again soon <laughs>